Hello guys, I've got another random battle. I start with uh, Grumble against his Dragonair, which was pretty nice because I get the Intimidate off on a physical attacker. And, but I make a kind of stupid move with Thunder Wave because uh, uh, Dragonair has uh, Shed Skin and uh, Substitutes, so it can uh, beat uh, Thunder Wave pretty easily. Ah, that's my fucking cat. Uh, anyway, he switches out into Amungus and uh, I switch to Cobalion and get lucky with the Parahax. Use Substitute so he can spore me. And uh, then I just start attacking. No, I set up Stealth Rock, which is always nice to have. He attacks me, breaks the sub. Here I predict him to attack me again. So I use uh, Iron Head and fish for some para flinch, but he instead uses spore and uh, hits me. So now I'm asleep and I, I'm obviously gonna switch out into Mew because it has fire blast, but he also switches out into Hippodon and uh, well I'm fine with this because uh, Mew has uh, Willow Wisp, so I get the barn on the physical attacker which cripples him. He sets up a stealth rock, uh, a stealth rock of his own. Then I go for fire blast to deal some damage, but it misses, and he uses whirlwind to make me switch out. Then I end up into Amphezant. and ah yeah, I use U-turn here because I'm not sure if Hippodon has uh, ice fang or not. So I use U-turn and go into Kubalion to get uh, as least uh, stealth rock damage as possible. And then I see that he doesn't have ice, uh, ice fun. He only has, uh, well, I don't know what he has, but he goes for whirlwind. So he probably doesn't have ice uh, fun, but that doesn't matter because uh, I get uh, thrown into Nido King, and Nido King can easily kill with Earth Power. He goes into King Drained here. I was really scared because Kindra can easily sweep teams with if it has a Dragon Dance. So first I go into Grumble to get a. Uh, to get an Intimidate off, and uh, he goes for Substitute. And here, I think, yeah, here I try to attack just to break the sub, but uh, his faster goes for Draco Meteor, gets a crit, and uh, kills me off. Then I go into Unfezant, thinking that. Uh, thinking that I can break the substitute with a U-turn, but I actually can't. And here I'm really scared he's gonna go for uh, Dragon Dance. But he doesn't, he goes for Waterfall, so I think he got an unlucky set of moves uh, without Dragon Dance. So this Kingdra isn't really scary now, which, uh, um, I mean, with, uh, with uh, the, the stats down, less attack and less special attack, so I just stay in with Mew and Go for Thunderbolt and uh, yeah, I break the sub with Thunderbolt and here I predict him to switch out into into Dragonair because he saw my Thunderbolt and uh, uh, he might think that I'm gonna use it again. So I predict him switching into Dragonair which uh, resists Thunderbolt and I switch myself into Manic Trick to counter the Dragonair which comes out so I predicted that right. I go for Hidden Power Eyes, this is Choice Specs Manic Trick, Hidden Power Eyes, I was uh, hoping to deal a lot of damage and I got lucky enough to deal enough damage so that Dragonair can set, can't set up a substitute and so now he has to switch out and uh, I just keep attacking obviously with Hidden Power Eyes and he shows a new Pokemon, Omanite, and here I was scared again because if it has a Shell Smash, it can uh, sweep. Uh, this is another Pokemon that can sweep teams with, with the right move. But apparently, it doesn't have it because uh, he uses uh, Ice Beam here. I'm not sure why I went into Cobalion. I was kind of thinking that Cobalion could resist uh, Omanite's attacks, but it, it actually really can't because. Omanite also gets Surf and Earth Power sometimes, I think, so yeah, could have died anyway. Then he switches into Honchkrow, I have no idea why he didn't stay in with Omanite, I, maybe it's a really shitty set with only Ice Beam as an attack, I don't know. 
Anyway, here, here I go for Iron Head, I think, just to deal damage. And he goes for a Heat Wave, which uh, deals a lot of damage because it's super effective, obviously. But I stay alive, and here I predict him to go for Sucker Punch, so this time I use Thunder Wave. And since uh, I see that, uh, and since I mean, since he fails the attack on me that I'm sleeping, I think that I can now predict him to use a different move to Sucker, uh, to sucker Punch, so I can attack now, so I go for Iron Head, and uh, I predict right, he doesn't use Sucker Punch again, and uh, I was hoping to get a flinch here, but I don't, and I die with Kobalion. But at least I got some damage off of uh, Honchkrow. Now I go into Mew, because I think that I can uh, wall uh, Honchkrow with Roost spamming, so I just do that. He uses Pursuit and it deals a lot of damage, but I can I can stay alive. So here uh, I just use the Roost again. He goes for Sucker Punch, predicting that I would attack him, but I actually don't. And uh, now I was I was uh, kind of uh, thinking to attack because I have uh, a lot of health. Uh, Roosting will be kind of pointless, but I predict the Sucker Punch again and uh, go for Roost again and that works uh, perfectly because he goes for Sucker Punch and dies to Sandstorm and I keep my full health with Mew. So that was great. And now he goes into Kingdra, uh, which we've, uh, we've seen he doesn't have Dragon Dance, so it's a shitty, a shitty Kingdra. Not really scary, I just attack it with Thunderbolt, thinking that I can 2-8 KO it and it can't kill me back because I'm faster. Outra he goes for Outrage to deal some damage, but it's not much, I'm still over half of uh, my health. He goes into Dragonair and here I'm thinking he might go for Extreme Speed, because it wouldn't make much sense to bring in Dragonair to die. Uh, so I'm thinking maybe I should use Roost, but... Uh, Dragonair also has rest sometimes, slow down. So, uh, so I didn't want him to use rest, so I just attacked. Then he goes into Omanite, and I'm thinking that Thunderbolt will be able to kill it, but it doesn't, and he uses Surf, crits me, and kills me. But he dies to life for Ripple. And now he only has the last uh, Paralyzed, the, uh, the Paralyzed Among Us, so I go into Manic Trick. And uh, yeah, I just flame tower, choice specs flame tower. I was kind of thinking I'd be able to kill it, but I don't. He spores me. Doesn't really matter because uh, I can switch into Nido King and uh, yeah, just kill it off with. Uh, he goes for synthesis, but in sandstorm that doesn't heal much. So I just go for uh, into Nido King, go for sludge wave. He attacks me. Yeah, he's dead anyway. And that's the game. I'm gonna fucking kill my cat. Uh, it's his fucking out machine. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, bye.